Michigan, and when it is changing, it's the perfect time to also change up what's in our home. And joining us today at the Gram is Jody Arns from Changing Times. Jody, pleasure to have you here on Eat West. Hi, how are you? I'm well, and I'm even better now that I see all of the beautiful decor that you brought to our studio. Why don't you tell us about Changing Times? Um, what I brought with us today is something that can kind of move all the way through to give you an idea of what each of our vendors have. It's a little bit of something from everybody. We have 230 two vendors and it's in two locations so it's a good place to come you can pop into one and then have a little lunch pop over to the other and today what we're here really for is our five-year anniversary is coming up yeah five years that you have been creating such a magnificent two stores really two stores that are so unique let's talk about the five-year anniversary because this is something that people definitely don't want to miss it's uh, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. What we're going to do is uh, open up a little longer hours, which you'll see on um, Craigslist and Facebook. You can see all the different advertisements for that along with here and on your website. Um, also, what we'll do is we'll have uh, door prizes, uh, five gift certificates for $50 that we'll be doing drawings for, discounts throughout the store, and homemade refreshments, as we always do. Um, it's kind of our celebration and our give back to thank everybody that's helped us go this far, and we are continuing to grow. So how did this all evolve and come about? Because you have such unique pieces. We're seeing some on the screen right now, and you brought so many that we really don't have time to talk about all of these wonderful items. But how did you come up with the idea of changing times? Um, I started with a garage sale in my house. Okay. Um, got going a little bit more, went to a bunch of the different craft shows, went to like different shows like Allegan and Burley Park, got into a few of the shops, um, and I was at Somewhere in Time. Uh, over five years ago, I was there for about four and a half years before I bought from the previous owner. Um, and it was just fun for me and my husband to go out and find things, refinish them. That's what I think you see most of all here is that everybody touches something. They repurpose it. It's not like a buy it and sell it or an antique store. It's a little bit of everything. And with so many people involved, we get so much diversity. And then that's where we've grown by having so